Hello, welcome to ASNU. Today we're going to be talking about gasoline injectors and in particular the minimum pulse widths required to operate them, the non-linear region at their bottom end and also short pulse adders and multipliers. So hopefully you've been watching some of our earlier videos where we were talking about dead time. So on this graph, we can see that the dead time is about 0 0.4 milliseconds. And as we increase the pulse width, the flow increases uh, proportionally to the pulse width increase. Now, actually, what I've told you so far isn't quite correct because at very low pulse widths down at the bottom end here, the injector isn't linear at all. It's actually non-linear. So um, the nozzle starts to open much later than the dead time um, and increases in a non-linear fashion until it meets the normal slope. Now, this non-linear region is normally irrelevant because um, most production vehicles won't operate in this region. Their minimum pulse width will be uh, above this point. Um, so you, you'll never see um, a problem with nonlinear flow versus pulse width. It's really only um, when we start to try and increase engine power and fit much larger injectors to engines that we need to run it in this region um, to get a, a nice idle condition. Um, but this, this becomes a problem because the ECU will be expecting this curve or this straight line when in actual fact the injector is operating like this. This point is the real minimum opening time of the injector, so nothing really happens below this point. Um, and it's easy to get confused between this point and dead time. Um, if you were to run an injector on an as new machine, for example, and you gradually increase the pulse width until you saw some spray. Uh, this is the point you would see. It's the minimum opening time, but it's not the dead time. Now, if you need to run the injector in this non-linear region, you're going to need to tell the ECU about this strange curve. And that's normally done with the short pulse adder or short pulse multiplier table. Basically, the short pulse adder or multiplier table tells the ECU how much pulse width to add to achieve the flow you need. So, for example, if we wanted 200 cc's per minute flow, instead of running at about 1.8 milliseconds pulse width, we're going to need to run at about 2.15 milliseconds pulse width. Okay, so where do you get this data from, the short pulse adder tables or multiplier tables? Well, if you're purchasing ASNU performance injectors, ASNU supply all the data you need in various formats for different ECUs. So we've already covered uh, dead time compensation, but here you'll see um, ASNU provide short pulse adder and short pulse multiplier tables to enter into your ECU to compensate for that non-linear region of the injector. Well, I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.